Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. So, it's it's not a rumor anymore. They, they finally released them. We've been waiting on these for well over a year now. There have been rumors about it. But they were finally released Tier 5 troops. And I'm going to go over those today and uh, tell you guys somewhat how to counter them. I have not seen a whole lot of hits or uh, had any tests myself yet. So I can only give you kind of a guess on how to defend against them. So I'm going to go over them a little bit, tell you guys what you can possibly do to eat them a little better. So far, just uh, from what I've seen already, they are not that impressive. It's not a massive game-changing update. It's more like a new set of cores or some new gems or new boosts, something like that. It's, it's not that big of a deal. It will be easy enough to cap. But these are just regular troops. They have not released Strategic a while yet, which I'm assuming that will be coming later on. Now, I do not have an academy on this account, so I can't go through the research. But I can tell you a little bit how, about how much it costs. Um, the first little bit to actually unlock these are is only a pack. But beyond that, it progressively gets pretty expensive. I've heard up to like 50 plus packs to actually do it all so it does get up there quite a bit now as for uh, nerf ratios for these it does change a little bit but for a smaller trap you guys do not want to do that research it most likely adds a lot of power I haven't looked into how much it actually adds but I'm going to say it does add in way too much for a uh, trap to actually want it because the uh, power goes up on these so the tier 5 siege would be like 23 to 1 or something like that instead of the 19 to 1 that I'm running now. Uh, the regular tier 5s are uh, only 45, so it would it would be like 18 to 1 for those. So Ongers are still better than those for uh, no fresh issues. But for a heroless trap or something, they could do these to uh, get more tier 2s out of it, but uh, that would be up to them. Just if you guys wanted to hear that. So as I said, they don't have the strategic or wild yet. Let's go into the uh, blog to see what they actually do and all that good stuff. These are called the fire troops. Strong beyond belief, not from what I've seen. It's they're, they're not that all. They're not all that impressive. And they added in a new animation for these. I don't. I'm not sure why they did this. I guess they thought it would be cool, but. All this is going to do is add more lag, and it really isn't that much of a different animation. The only thing they changed is these guys have spears, and then these guys have a torch. That is that is all that has changed. They could have just left this part out. Um, I think people would be fine without carrying torches. But anyways, training garrison is now finally useful which is kind of what I thought it'd be for which was tier fives and seems I was right about that so if you guys did uh, actually use this you can upgrade your troops to tier fives if you wanted to but uh, for the traps that isn't really going to be very useful and we don't really need this because we're not going tier threes some of you might but I'm not going tier threes the tier twos will still work they should work actually they should work very well for these and these tier fives aren't going to make the tier twos unusable anyways uh... the research for these as i said it does get quite expensive and uh... there is new research gear the inquisitors also there's new training gear the elite marshals gear set which i haven't actually seen that one yet um, but i have just seen the inquisitor and it, it looks kind of goofy but it does uh, increase the research speed and cost reduction quite a bit now building these tier fives I've seen screenshots of people actually training these that is insane that costs way more than the research does now talk about MZ being greedy tier fives are pushing the limits one train of those which was the one the screenshot I seen was 31 million troops and it costed like 800,000 days or something like that and like 6 trillion in each resource that's half a pack actually more than half a pack for the speeds and it's like one fourth of a pack for the uh, resources now but anyways 
that that's pretty insane just for one train of them which is was like 31 million for that person I'm sure that really jumps around for some that have different gear and the uh, some different gym setups and stuff like that but it wouldn't be that much different that is just off the wall expensive it should not be anywhere near that much I mean even for big spenders that's that's way out there anyways let's go into how you guys can actually defend against this now since they are regular troops what I was thinking we could do was add in some strategic tier twos now before since most everybody was sending wild troops in the rallies which was why I left out the strategics in my setup some of you guys still kept them but I left them out because it was just a weakness for most everybody sending wilds and wilds have an advantage over strategics. But now since everybody's sending, going to be sending regulars, well, not everybody, but the bigger ones that I'm after will be sending these guys, I'm going to build like 100, 150 million strategic tier twos. Now that should be plenty to be able to eat this march. They are not that impressive, but again, until I see some actually see some more test hits from these that is just a guess but I'm gonna add 100 150 of these somewhere around in there and then I'm gonna drop my wilds down to about 150 each because I don't want these this high in troop count that could present a weakness for uh, for them to send those and be able to kill these because regular troops have an advantage over wild troops and I'm still going to keep them because most people will still be sending wild because these are still super expensive to actually unlock and train. So not a whole lot will have these right off the bat. I think there's only probably only going to be a couple people that actually running these for the uh, next few weeks. Most people will still be using wilds for about a month. And then you will see these more commonly. So, yeah, guys, um, strategics, I'm going to build about 100 to 150 of those and drop those to about 150. But other than that, that's really all it should take to actually cap these from what I've seen. It might be a little different for someone that's actually maxed out. Those that I've seen, those reports that I've seen might not be completely maxed and might skew it a little bit. But it shouldn't take much more than that for me. But for uh, other people with different defense and all that, they might need a little bit higher troop count. might be a little lower. It really depends on the person. Now, if you guys need more explanation on actual troop counts and stuff like that, I have another video that should be out today. And then I have plenty more that I've released before that will uh, give you a little bit more detail on how to set all that, good, all that stuff up. So if you guys need more information on that sort of thing, just go uh, watch one of those other videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll have more updates on this stuff soon. Um, hopefully I'll get to test it within the next few days. I'm hoping somebody in my kingdom will be able to do it. And I'll be able to get to test it from them. Not likely, but we'll see guys. So overall, this isn't really anything to worry about. Um, troop counts, if you guys were wanting to... Uh, up your troop counts any because you were worried I would say it wouldn't take any more than 300 to 500 million more troops and that that would be about max I'm not even gonna increase my troop counts any I'm just gonna drop off some wilds and add in some strategics that should be plenty for me to cap but I'm r also running a little bit different gear setup than you guys are and uh, if you guys watch the other video you will see what kind of gear set that I'm running if you guys want to uh, do that as well so thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next video, and have a Merry Christmas, and uh, apparently MZ doesn't care about our Christmas if they're going to release stuff this expensive the day of Christmas. Uh, I guess they want everybody to return all the gifts they bought, just so they could uh, buy Tier 5s. Anyways, that, that's just MZ for you, they don't care. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.